Have the recent log for shell vulnerabilities kept you up at night worrying about your VMs? Would you like to learn a few firewall best practices to help you build a defense in depth strategy? I'm Jason Burns from Nutanix Tech Marketing, and in this video, I'll show you how to use flow micro segmentation to defend your VMs on AHV, keep attackers out of your network, and even how to protect your VMs if attackers are already inside the gates. Let's break down the attack chain so we can understand how to build a strategy to prevent it. So first, the attacker is going to send an inbound request to our web service or something that's uh, a logging service. And inside of that normal web request, they're going to embed some string uh, that has a JNDI payload that gets logged. That payload causes the vulnerable logging service to make a request out to an attacker controlled server on one or more different types of protocols such as LDAP or RMI and others. And then that download uh, downloads and runs an exploit running with the permissions of the Java process. So the first mitigation is to upgrade your vulnerable VMs. And you absolutely should do this, but it could take some time to plan and upgrade these VMs. And they might not even be your servers and VMs to upgrade. Luckily, you've also got a few extra tools at your disposal while you get your fleet upgraded. The next line of defense is your border web application firewall. If you absolutely must expose services to the internet, a web application firewall inspects your incoming traffic and then filters out any of those JNDI payload attacks so that they never make it to the vulnerable service. That's great for protecting your servers from outside the network, and it's one layer in our strategy, but we can do more. Maybe not every server needs to be accessible from the entire internet or from your entire corporate network. You can use a flow policy to ensure that these VMs don't accept traffic from unknown sources. Here's an example security policy inside Prism Central that shows a flow micro segmentation policy that allows traffic only to a specific port from a specific subnet. All other incoming traffic to this VM will be blocked. But what if the attack is coming from inside your network from some other compromised server? Or what if you have to keep the web ports open internally no matter what, because this service is critical to your entire company? Don't worry, there are some other backup defenses we can deploy. Taking another look at the attack chain, we see that the attacker gets in with a simple web request. And then our web server needs to send outbound requests to DNS and then other valid servers that the attacker controls. Now we're in charge of our network, so we should know the valid DNS and valid other servers that this web service should be allowed to communicate with. Let's just stop our web server from sending traffic to unknown destinations and only allow traffic to known internal and external servers. Here's an example of a flow security policy that ensures VMs can only send that traffic to those outbound destinations. Even better, once you create this outbound allowed list, any attempts to connect to servers outside the list will be shown here and also logged via syslog. These are just a few examples of how you can build a defense in-depth strategy using flow microsegmentation. For more information, Follow along on our Flow Quick Start playlist, check out our security advisory, and subscribe to the channel for more Tech Bytes updates.